This is a HeadGum Original. Yeah. Jeff, I have a question. Yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. I've I've known your soundboard to be a thing that um, one button will cut off the sound from another button. So yeah, I'm it's curious. also really well organized. I feel like you didn't mention that. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't mention that, but I'm confused as to how you're able to do the Casey "What's That" over yeah. the theme song. I'm like a DJ with two decks. Right, there's two record right. players, the, and I can. There's the two tabs. There's two tabs. <laughs> I mean, I can do this kind of thing. Like, we can go from uh, my I favorite position, position is GEO right into a yeah. Well, yeah. Back into I a mean, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, what's that? What's that? yeah it's the what's that that I'm just really. Okay, so we can go overlaps. from we can go from this. <laughs> The whole thing is about innovating. It's about getting everything ahead of step, right? Mm. Slowly but surely. What? Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Amir. (laughs) Slowly but surely, I said. Um, Amir looks like he's in one of those like optical illusion rooms where you're standing on the ceiling, except he's <laughs> laying on the wall. <laughs> the weird spot. <laughs> That's funny. Will, you moved to, uh, I want to say Laurel Canyon, right? You're in the... Not quite. Not quite. Well, I'm not even in Los Angeles right now. Where the fuck are you? Sorry, Spoiler I'm not alert. Gonna... Boiler alert. I'm in the boiler room of the Dakota. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm in uh I'm in Orange County right now. But yeah, I did move. I knew it. What do you mean Orange I'm, County? Are you in somebody's family's house or you moved to like the OC? I'm in my family's house. I'm in you my dad's. You're not from the Orange house. County. You're not from the OC. Originally. Well, no. originally from Orange County, Florida. Orange County, moved Florida. To Orange That's County, what I was going to say. Does your family only settle down in Orange Counties? Cuz there's only a couple. Yeah. When Orlando I was on the show, I said where Huntington. Sorry, I'm not trying to interrupt you and I feel like people are going to no, jump in the report. No, I'm not trying yep. to and I'm not doing it. Well, I used to say that it was the most popular, most popular named county in the country. It's not true. It's like 17th most popular. What's most popular? You must know. I don't know. The commenter on the HeadGum podcast that I mentioned that on schooled me quite quickly. Is it Kings County? I would assume it's Kings County. Is that because you're in Kings County? Why do you have to be such an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because of that. But that kind of takes away the power of what I was saying the way you pointed Kings it out. Kings County. Yeah, it, yeah it could be. I see the answer on Google. What's the answer? Well, you want me to yeah, guess? You want it to be trivia? <laughs> yeah. I already guessed. I said Kings. I thought it's it was not Kings. Kings. You're Fine. sort of on the right track with like the revolutionary theme, but Kings is incorrect. Ooh. Washington Shore- County? St. George Washington County. County is correct. Correct. That's what I said. I thought you said Door County. <laughs> Door County is funny. Yeah. It's funny that you thought that. Yeah, <laughs> it's not so. funny in a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? <laughs> going. Okay. I got it. Got it. It's time for. Greens of the moment, right? Okay. Last week, well, Will, what do you know what this is? No, I, I'm fully. So you don't listen every week. So you don't listen every week. The, Fuck you. The theme tone and then the switch up. It's so fun. it's greens it's of the moment, fresh. right? My girlfriend and I went to this weird dinner place where they had this thing on the menu called greens of the moment, <laughs> which I feel like was just a daily salad. But um. You know, I'm getting a little tired of Bond of the Week. And this menu handed to me on a silver plate the next segment to take its place for now, which is Greens of the Moment. What do you guys think is the green of the moment? For me, it's going to have to be 
okra. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be a leaf. Okra, okra. <laughs> okra. I love an okra. I'm yeah. gonna have to go escarole. That's cool. What the mm. hell is that, though? I don't know. What is that? You don't know what that is? It's a green for sure. I Amir? just don't really know the profile or flavors. The Amir? lulav is a closed frond of the date palm tree, <laughs> and it's one of the four species used during the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, which we are in. I saw a bunch of Hasidic Jewish people with those fronds, I would say. They were palm fronds, and they do shake them to and fro. Are they used on people's mons? Can you kind of tickle someone's pubis? No, they're sort of meant to be wiggled up, down, <laughs> left, and right. Right. But that so is a mons. Wiggled. They're supposed to wiggle, wiggle with it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, is this anything? Because, like, Mariga, where, where does Le Mans take place? In Le Mans. Okay, so in Le Mans. That's like a race to see who can be in the fastest car. Sure. Shouldn't they do a Le Mans pubis? A Le Mans pubis where it's like the first one to, you know, self-complete wins the race. And people could be like doing it in like four seconds, like something that's like seemingly So you want the city of Le Mans to do some an event called the Le Mans pubis? Yes. Mm. Where people try to... Orgasm fast, right? yeah. Mm. Um, we should pitch it to them. Call up France, Paris, Jeff. That's okay. Well, now you're starting to jump down my throat, <laughs> and I feel like Will came into this with a good attitude. Jump I feel down like... your throat. <laughs> yes, giving you advice. Yes. I was saying, might as well do it. What were you saying before Amir joined the Zoom about the fucking yeah, the gift that I gave you that was a gift, by the way. It was supposed to be kind. <laughs> I gave it to you in earnest and in kind. He did, and you. Hopped on the Zoom, you were complaining about having too much of it. By the way, too much of a good thing is better. I wasn't complaining at all. Okay. I was showing the cookie. I was eating a cookie from Schmackery's, my favorite place in New York. Shout out. Um, sponsor me. And uh, for my birthday, Jeff bought me two boxes full of cookies um, to my party. And <laughs> That's I have- a good friend. That's <laughs> a, good a good friend. friend. I mean, it's a good amount talking, of cookies. It's a good amount of four. <laughs> No, far more. It was more than twenty four for sure. It was like forty eight cookies. It It was was honestly. Let me let me just do some quick math in my head. I think it was like two rows of (laughs) nine cookies. So that's eighteen per box. Two boxes plus an extra three in a bag. So Um, how many people were at the party? Oh well, I would say around twenty people over the course of the night. But there was cake, and there was cake um, provided, and that was So how many cookies the, did you bring home? M- all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. And then also, because it's a tr- tradition between one of my friends to give each other baked goods for our birthdays, um, I had two extra cookies from Schmackeries from her. So, you know, 18 plus 18, what's that? It's got to be 35. 35. Yeah. <laughs> 30 it's the better part of 100 rounds yeah mm-hmm. and then those what do you sugary do sugary after rounds like two days when you're well, they start to go the bad fridge. they start Aww. to go bad like fruit yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever had a ripe oatmeal raisin <laughs> <laughs> the context of this episode is that yeah it's going awesome yeah and my greens is basil Oh, nice. Let's yeah. move on from the greens of the moment. Well, is the green of the moment the green cookie? The fucking uh, spooky round? What's it called? Oh, yeah. The sugary, icy round? Uh, sure. Yeah. Did you like it? It was an Oh, it was unbelievable. No, I was jealous of the boxes. Yeah. You could have I taken wanted- some. No, that, those were for you. I just should have gotten some for me while I was at Schmackery's. Which, by the way, if you love a cookie store that smells like a bodega that doesn't have any ventilation above their grill, Never experience this. Better. Go to Schmackery's because it smells like burnt <laughs> bacon with a ton of extra oil added onto the fat and the grease. <laughs> I've been going there for, I want to say, the better part of over a decade. It has I've a flat top, that. and a cookie store <laughs> shouldn't have that. a grill. I've always I guess said they have this. maple bacon cookies, but they're not grilling the bacon there. It really There's smelled no like they were doing the bacon without the maple because there wasn't sugary. <laughs> ab- there was nothing sugary about the smell coming out of that grill. Hmm. I watched. Who are you it. guys voting for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably this is coming out next. Yeah, probably Donald. Donald Stein. Stein yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Should we screen that right now? Um, yeah, you can if you want to. Okay, let me just pull this up. Why don't you guys talk about who are you guys? Well, who are you voting for? I, I think yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'll get clear with this while you while you do that. I feel like well, we can guess based on the county you're just, in. Yeah, and the general vibe. Yeah, I did register in Los Angeles. I think it's wrong to vote where you don't live. So I Sweet. registered in Los Angeles County. Yeah. Um, and I plan to vote for Kamala Harris. I'll admit oh it. Oh my! I'll God, admit it. It's official. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You fucking said it. it. All right. This is um. This is. Basically, we had our. If you're listening to this, we had our live show at Littlefield uh, this past Monday, right? It was a fucking hit, and um, it hasn't happened yet at the time of recording. Basically, it was a fucking hit, and we sold hit. we sold out the bitch. I would say, hit. yeah, yeah, wow. and a lot of uh, blood and sweat equity went into the shit, Absolutely. right? And I feel like I don't. I mean, Marika has worked her fucking ass off. I would say Emma's worked her fucking ass off. Allie's helped. You know, Allie's put in her two <laughs> cents here and there in a way that's really cut down on the time that things would have taken. Uh, Amir almost to a certain extent worked against the whole Shabazz. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he scheduled he... his own podcast live show yeah. at the venue when we were trying to schedule this. Exactly right. So we got a, we got pushed back a month. And then yeah. be- beyond that, I don't think he's done anything to plug the show. I think he's been publishing segments every week as a way to take attention away from the fucking promotion of the bitch but basically I've been publishing my own podcast as a way to <laughs> what to take take attention a, away from information your show? put output is taking up the space in my lane stay in you your have own delusions of grandeur or something that you think that <laughs> take a break we'll be right back <laughs> oh my god no nah, because you know you take it too far sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. I don't know who's I idea that to do was. like a who are you voting for style thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because the election is like days away. Maybe the day after this episode comes out, right? Um, no, it comes out on Fridays. Thanks for your support. Um should we um <laughs> should we get Kamala Harris on this podcast? Whoa. Is that crazy? She is doing like, a bunch of them sort of trying to get her word out. Yeah. yeah. But that she would have to do it. In a, on an episode that would come out before the election. So if we record next week, some by some miracle we get Kamala next week, it's not going to come out before this. the election. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind that at all. This is garbage water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's um, been going okay. <laughs> <laughs> all I think it's been considered. going fine. Um, Amir, why, why did you decide not to come out for the live show? I wasn't invited. You you were asked in terms of like, are you going to be here? Just, yeah, I was asked just, if I was going to be there, but I wasn't like uh, invited to be like, do you want to come encouraged out? Encouraged to want- come, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. hard because that's not what was communicated to me, right? People were like, oh, let's check in with Amir. And then they got back to me. Anya was like, no chance from Amir. No chance, Amir. Does the live show, let alone another episode ever, maybe? Well, it was yeah. more like a no chance Amir is going to be in town um, because we can't pay to fly. Him I just out. think things get lost in translation and I'm often shielded by the truth. Does that yeah. Make sense? Mm. you're definitely often shielded you're shielded by the truth or from the truth by the truth because i feel like the truth is like a marring agent it's like a veil that's pulled over yeah to your delusions of blander 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 (laughs) blander why don't we have merch for this show i feel like it would sell really well i mean i tried to come up with the fucking my other car is a massage thing people love it you know ever sell any of this jeff it is Three days before the show. Yeah, it's hard. So I did so let's try focus to see on one thing at a time. Is what you mean? Or twenty dollars a piece to print? Which and what's is that, what happened there? Exorbitant. Yep. I'm not going to print them. Okay. Twenty dollars to print one poster, fifty pieces. Well, from where? Because there's that can't be the only place. It's let's figure one it of out the now. places. Let's call FedEx Kinkos mm-hmm. throughout. Well, we're not getting right we're not getting <laughs> professional posters. And the show's in Guana, so that'd be perfect in terms of getting the posters from you know the pickup shop to. It's pronounced Gao Anus, actually. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's like, like the the butthole of yeah. New York. A City. Gao. Yes, exactly. It's sort of like a okay. Gao's colon. How do you figure? Huh. Because it looks like this long narrow strip next to the Gao of the canal. New York. You mean? Yeah, the canal. Guana. Don't you mean a bow of a ship? No, I mean, or do you mean like a gal where I shit? <laughs> I mean, the anus of a gal is where the the show is taking place. But but the show's gonna 
be, I would say, incongruent with that kind of environment, right? It's not going to, because you're almost insinuating that the show is going to be like a massive piece of shit. And I'm saying really. that the show. I'm saying it's going to be a hemorrhoid, basically, on the gal's anus. <laughs> You're like saying that little... it's going to be a strain on what is otherwise a perfect ass. Yeah, kind of like an inflamed blood vessel in the or gal's like a anus. pimple on someone's mond. No, mound, not a yeah. pimple. Sort of like a bug bite. Because a pimple can be lanced, and this yeah. is so built into the gal's anus that it can't actually be excised. Yeah, but I just feel like the whole thing is going to be a, sh- you know, a show that makes people entranced. It's not going to be something that requires someone to get that ass lanced. It's not Do a you think you'll hang cream. out after the show at that bar next door? And I think I'll hang and people. say hi. Yeah, I think I'll try and be- inspire the neighborhood youths in a way. You know, like yeah. you can also fail your way up after being like a Will gifted. Will you have a drink before the show to get a little loosey goosey? I think or I'll have a beta to- blocker enjoy- or nine. I think I'll take straight up blood thinning, blood pressure medication so I can physiologically not panic before I go on. To give the guise of a guy who has a lot of confidence there, I was a gifted child academically and socially, and I'm falling apart at the seams. It seems that's the case. All right. We can you land for? But who do your you personality. think you're actually going to win the election? Let's get predictions on the board. They're so neck we can and neck, say- Trump and Kamala, but they're saying that in the polls so that the fucking leftists don't like stay uh, at home, thinking everything's <sighs> I sitting, fine. I was sitting on the train last night at like 11 p.m. and. A guy sat in the middle seat next to me and then proceeded to scroll through the most toxic Twitter feed I've ever seen in my life. His for you feed. So not even the following. It's just (laughs) Donald Trump, Alex Jones spaces (laughs) appearing at the top, (laughs) RFK tweets, anti-woke memes. That was a logged out user saying the for you page. (laughs) You looked up like, and it was God, Jake Hurwitz right next to you. <laughs> and before that, before that, I was sitting next to a fun dog with his tongue sticking out. So it was a real downgrade. Yeah. What's the fear there that like there's an, a lot of guys out there like him? And that yeah. I, I do think that they're just posting these like, oh, they're like both tied at 48 percent. To make sure everybody votes for Kamala. You think there's, those are not actual results that they're having like secretive meetings of let's produce <laughs> a poll that it's tied so we can get people to vote? Correct. You think that's a, don't you think that's a little nefarious for the New York Times to do? I don't think they're acting in good faith or in kind <laughs> otherwise. I mean, have you seen these op-eds about people that I resonate with? I don't know. Have I? Who do you resonate with? What are they saying? <laughs> so vague. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen an op-ed by somebody? It's kind of like me. <laughs> I tend it's to side like with me. Nice. <laughs> what do you make of these newspapers that refuse to endorse a candidate? That just happened today. That's fine. Yeah. What, like Wapo. the Wall Street Journal? Yeah. Yeah. Wall- Washington Post and the LA Times are like, we're going to well, this one Because it's owned by a billionaire who doesn't want Kamala. Do like- you think, did it come up in this podcast, Democracy Dies in Dankness? Or did I just <laughs> see that somewhere else? What do you mean by else? that? Democracy did I see- it just dies seemed- when like a room is full of weed smoke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I thought <laughs> of it today and I was like, I either about- heard that on the HeadGum podcast or today. saw it. I just saw it on the floor. I either saw it, heard (laughs) it, or came up with it. it. (laughs) It's one of the three. It has to be. It's It's one of the three. It's (laughs) one of the three. (laughs) That's between Kamala, Stein, and Trump. (laughs) It's gotta be Jill. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I don't know. I think either way the world's ending, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just one quicker than the other. You guess, maybe. <laughs> you guys disagree or? <laughs> no, I said, yeah. Quiet. <sighs> Come on, let's figure this shit out, right? A lot of this has to do with the energy oh, and the momentum. dialogue, of it. the energy. <laughs> yeah. God, I got it. Well, no, I don't mean, I know, not like the classic, <laughs> oh, like everybody like interrupt each other. I don't mean that. Mm-hmm. I mean like, don't let the momentum fall. Don't let the train get off the rails, right? Because then we're not going to be able to find our way back to anything worth listening to. 
the world's going to end and then it's on to the next thing. It's like moving forward. <laughs> What's next, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, What's exactly. Next so you get it. So you get it. <laughs> yeah. I think they might bring Pluto back from the dwarf planet to a regular planet. And then if we could get like a high rise there, that could be cool. It feels They're like a bringing PR Pluto push. black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. All you other planets don't know how to, how to act. act. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to Uranus. Pluto. <laughs> nice. It got a Neptune. Pluto. I got a Jupiter, Saturn, got a Vega, heavy, da 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 which is a bar that you're at often. And if people want to meet you and kind of greet you, they can <laughs> Not really there often, go to local lodge. Let's leave that anyway, for sure. Local dive, local home. Uh, yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a great time. A lot of friends came through, a lot of co-workers who are also I friends. was surprised Komate showed up. He also said that he listens to the show every week, and then I mm-hmm. brought up something from like an episode two weeks prior, and he was like, what is that? And I was like, so you don't listen every week. I don't need you to listen every week. You don't need to like nervously say, yeah, I listen don't all the time, call, man. Don't call him out like that. He's not even going to hear it. He's, He's not going to yeah. hear it because he doesn't listen to the show, right? I'm just saying, he, he, I don't want people to say they listen to the show because they think I'm fragile and that I'll fall apart if I, I at the idea. Any, I don't think anyone's doing that. Really? So don't worry. Okay. Yeah. But it was nice. I don't it was care nice who you're him. voting for. I care who you're rooting for. What does that mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know you want to want to win. So what if I say I want Kamala to win, but I'm voting for Trump? That's awesome. <laughs> you love that? That's, That's just a bizarre. fucking thrill. No, yeah. it isn't. It's, it's a interesting. It's, well, okay, Mariga, you brought this up by the way at your birthday that your bones oh, are turning to. Sometimes you say the right thing, but ill-timed. That would have been the perfect thing to say if I had gotten the thought out. Okay. Marika, you were saying your bones are turning to fiber. (laughs) I've said this on the podcast before, though. I know, but just for the people in the back slash Mike, who who might not listen every week. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean... Your dentist, Dr. Ahmed, was basically saying that your teeth will become krill. How dare you say her name? teeth aren't bone. I know, but... Well, yeah. And it's not my teeth. It's going to turn to krill, I was saying. Yeah, that's... Why do you keep saying krill? as Because I like to think fiber. about you at Jacob's Pickles with me and AJ. Yeah. F- kind of housing a scone through your teeth suction-wise like a fucking whale getting whale, plankton right. through krill. Sorting through what gets left behind in the sea and what makes it into I your intestines. Just, I thought krill were just little shrimp. That they're eaten up. That's like the, thought, those like pink swarms of stuff in the ocean that the blue whales are uh-huh. chomping, chomping. I thought on with krill their was weird thin teeth. teeth. I thought krill was thin teeth whales had that filtered out the other stuff other than plankton. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go with no, but let's get a fact check on this. Mm. Krill are little fish, are small, <laughs> exclusively marine crustaceans of the order you fate. You is that is that Gemini? My favorite position is GEO. What are you Gemini? talking about? Is that Gemini? No. Did you Google it? No, this is that's not Gemini. It's the overview. It's the standard. Have you been using that? Never. It's you terrible. don't even look at it. I, I used try it for not the to because it's well. What's that's, so bad? I, can I say I yeah. recognized it, Fucking Amir? God. I recognize the language that yeah. Gemini uses. Well, it's becoming... what's your plan? You're yeah. in Orange County. You're living with your family. Like, when are you going to move to like an awesome want, neighborhood like, in New York or in LA? To yeah, so already did. I live right by the office. Actually, I walk to work. How many people in LA walk to work? Huh? I, I used to ask Jeff and Alex. I used to walk Do to you? work uh, when I lived like an hour away by foot. Yeah, but I would get those steps in to try and get that asphalt, and it worked. Not really. Um, but the plan you, is yeah. What's the to plan move, to become awesome? Then did your partner so move taking, with you? 
I'm not yeah. trying to cut you off, so don't. We live together. That. I wasn't going to. We live together. <laughs> okay. First time. Yep. It's going swell. Why did you want to live in that neighborhood? Because I kind of feel like it's over. It's been done in a way. It's a good question. We're in uh, Virgil Village, right next to Courage, right next to. Uh, Does your room smell like burnt toast all the time in a way that makes you feel like you're having a heart attack or a stroke? Bad jam. That's squirrel. That's squirrel. Yeah, it's yeah. right next down the street. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is squirrel still popping? Do you want to yeah. let people Can know I exactly say, where you live like that? I saw celebs at squirrel just the other day. Who'd Who'd see? Who did well, Okay, I would have mean celebs. Yeah. Let's hear. They're pretty famous. One of I which we have a celebs. deep connection to. I they're saw eating the lots of jam. And they're having yeah. lots of mold. <laughs> I, I saw, saw that. Was, that was jelly. the craziest news thing ever one of the oh, craziest right? like weird niche news things yeah but I now you got to know they don't around of yeast waited in line for an hour Did to you get a bagel like... that was burned it doesn't sound like it anymore <laughs> i saw um greta lee at dinner too no, is that right next to greta lee and don't where get him started me yeah Lee? <laughs> Lee? <laughs> Greta Lee, we rolled along. Really good. Hey, Where did you get something. dinner? That's really good. Where did you oh, get dinner? I can't remember the name of the place. It was weeks it was ago KFC. now. KFC. Yeah. <laughs> On she Western. and A famous bowl. Something. She was hip deep. Korean fried clucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I sat right next to her and her husband, and they were talking about schools for their children in Brooklyn. Okay, so imagine... Like a type of bag, Scoop? you know, like a. <laughs> so, you know, Birkin bags. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, they're like really expensive Hermes bags or something. They're like a purse, right? So, or just, but people say like, oh, I got my Birkin or whatever. So like, imagine a purse that was called Tlocker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because then you could say. Did you see Hurt Locker? God. That's it. good. Bigelow style. Nice. Catherine. Like the T? Yeah. T? Catherine she O. Bigelow. <laughs> That's really good. Did when you guys- do you think we'll know the results of the election? <laughs> will it be a night of thing or a week of I counting and deliberating? I think it'll be a night Man. of joy. At <laughs> Night of Joy in <laughs> Williamsburg. Um, I it depends on which states go which way, right? Last time it was different because it was neck and neck till the very heck, right? But if Kamala walks away with Nevada, with Arizona, with Pennsylvania, with Michigan, she's fine. We know it that night, and then all oh, we need to certify the results. No, you don't. Just fucking take their word for it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really dope. Me on News Nation. Yeah, he's the best we can get. He's really the best Kornacki we can get. Is high. <laughs> it would be funny to have a headgum, uh, like whatever, election map yeah. check in, and I'm doing the Kornacki of it all. <laughs> That would be the first funny thing that ever happened on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. He's on ESPN app. <laughs> <laughs> it's They're Yahoo calling Sports, you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I talk. shorted Apple uh, 10 years ago, and I'm still waiting for that stock to pay me back quite right yeah i'm kind of on the same page with the gamestop situation well, yeah. yeah i didn't short it i was late to the game and at that point it was just like when you invested yesterday right it? yeah um no they and don't. i somehow paid them extra for <laughs> a share i tipped robin <laughs> in a <the> game <laughs> Amir, did you come into this episode not really wanting to have a good time because you had to go into the office because your Wi-Fi at home got chewed through by a gopher? Wow. Uh, Is that what happened? 
I don't know. It's tough to say that it's by a gopher, but I will say the Wi-Fi in my house is not working and there's mm. no real way to get an update or talk to a human at AT&T that will explain to me what's happening. So I'm just like sort of DMing with bots all day long and they're like, yeah, wait That's 24 sick. to 48 hours. I'm like, all right, yeah. you said that on Tuesday, but it's been 72 hours. What can we do now? Thank you for your patience. Please wait 24 to 48 hours. I'm like, at a certain point, I have to just discontinue AT&T and just go back to Spectrum, I guess, because I, you won't let me talk to a human who can explain to me what the problem is, let alone how long it'll take to solve it. And I'm talking to these people and they say they're humans, but odds are they're AI bots, right? What are the odds that at t actually employs somebody, one, who's human, and two, who can tell... You've reached your limit on talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're kind of hands-on face. Power. Oh. Don't you hate yeah, that? Uh, that was an absolute that. power move. It was. It, you pulled it off really well. Thank you. Amir, what did you think about that? It's funny. Well, what's the poster behind you? Disney Magic? Disney Cruise? The Disney Magic and the Disney Wonder. Whoa. You got it right. First try. Huge. <laughs> you want to go? It wasn't hard. I mean, you know I want to go to Disney. It's not going to Disney. It's going on a cruise. Well, I, I never will go on a cruise ship. I'll never step foot on a cruise ship unless it's not leaving port. And like it's just the a tour. Queen Mary? Yeah. Or the Titanic Museum? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how well do you, th- do you think the live show went? I think it was I 10. Think, out of 10. I think, I think really it was good. one of the nights of our lives. I think so too. I think we did a great job i think we crushed it i think we had fun and that's all that really matters in the end is are how you much fun we had gonna go out afterwards what do you mean go out like go to the box go to the fucking you know i don't know if new york has poppy but we could get a couple tables and a couple bottle services for sure maybe we go to the uh brooklyn soda fountain place that'd be fun actually they might also close before the show starts i don't know how long we've been recording for does anyone know 40 minutes Uh, just 40 no yeah but under that because i start we started recording before amir got here i think we're rounding up so that you end the episode sooner i feel fine with i think it's a good episode yeah i think we've really kind of pushed i think it's releasable i just don't think it's you know it's not our best but it doesn't have to be because guess what i'm in the throes of planning a variety show for the road slash ages I know that the majority of this audience won't get to go to the show, but it's going to be good enough that you're going to be like, if you didn't get tickets when you could have, you're going to regret it. I'll say that. I think that show is going to be unbelievable. This episode, it's bad. It's fine. Is it getting <laughs> released in the feed? No. Oh, One night only. One night only. Wow. Exclusive. Sorry. I thought we might release get a ticket. It. I thought we might release it. No. Oh, no. But we're recording the audio. We're recording the audio for posterity. <laughs> oh. Just right. in case someone... Well, this is bullshit, because last week I was like, guys, this will not air. You, ha- like, you have to get tickets it's to the show. It's not going to air. Anya said it might. She was like, well, we're recording it. That's not true, Jeffrey. That's not true. And I was like, okay, fine. We might re- release it, I guess. I don't know. I guess she was privy to information that I didn't know. But now yeah. you're the kind of be-all, end-all, and I'm saying that I wasn't p- promoting false information. This is some bullshit. I feel like there's no like real hierarchy at HeadGum. I feel like it should be like Marika, Amir... Jake, me, and the rest is fine. <laughs> we we should do a corporate restructuring episode. <laughs> and you want That's the a whole restructuring to be Marika at the top, then me, then Jake, then you, then everybody else is on this an is even fine. plane. Level Marty. Playing field. <laughs> Marty, no, Amir Marty Cohen. can keep they can be on like a financing sector side yeah. of things. Can keep getting money for us, but we'll <laughs> right. kind of really run the show. Gotcha. Yeah, that's well, cool. Well, when you say we, you mean Marika, and then me, her assistant, and then Jake, my <laughs> assistant. And then no, Mia, it's not like assistant. I'm a third assistant to Marika. Katie's I'm saying. assistant. Yeah. So how's that going to work? Katie has to be up there, too. I think it's like me and Nobody Katie. Nobody has to be at the top. Jake's that's the thing that I feel like. That's Amir's what I feel Katie's like is. Assistant. I think that some of the issues that are going on at HeadGum, which are rampant, are because people think things have to be a certain way or that people need to be included. 
Katie doesn't need to be near, near the top. I think it needs to go Marika, me, Jake, Amir, and then everyone else is like level <laughs> you bumped yourself at the very up. bottom. Yeah, because I the just saw that. Round, you there really are a couple thought. things that Amir was saying just there that kind of, I don't know. Yeah. We're mm. showing a lack of leadership, a lack of direction in some ways. <laughs> Interesting. Did, did Phil Jackson just die? Whoa, the lady coach. Wait, what? Oh, no. Phil Lash died. Did Phil Jackson just is this confirmed? I hope not. I love Phil Jackson. I don't see that information. No question mark. How, what did you see, Jeff? I saw Marika like this. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't realize she was such a Grateful Dead fan. Grateful Dead. <laughs> Phil Lesh died. Yeah. <sighs> what else? What so else? Phil Jackson's fine. Phil Jackson's fine. Phil Augusta Jackson's fine. <laughs> who I thought <laughs> you meant at first. Everyone's fine. I'm trying to, I'm looking around my room to see. Oh, Amir, I know you talked about this on a previous episode, but how was your Austin experience? Oh, compared it was fun. to mine. It was very busy, but the game was very fun. There was 105,000 people in the uh, football stadium, which well, is some there sort of record. 140,000 or something people, 125,000 people at my event. A lot of people in Austin. I wonder how many people come when it's like South by Southwest, if it's more or less than 200,000. It felt what very we... like desolate in the city proper oh interesting so everything was happening what if we created a business because i feel like jake and micah keep having these side hustles that are seemingly doing kind of well what if i created um an internet company that was like i mean you know like there's like the what is it the medical scrubs called figs yeah um so this we'd have to figure out what like the url would be for this because i want it to also be called get figs but it would be called Get Figs. Maybe it'd be getfigs.io. And it's kind of like uh, Harry and David boxes or like, uh, you know, just whatever. Monthly deliveries of figs. I'm interested. I really In like boxes. the idea. Yeah. And fig related products too. It could be like jams, it could be spreads. Are, would you ever are expand they local? to other types of fruits and veg? I like would like squash, to stick with gourd figs. Box. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want it I to might be start gourd a box. Competi- I might start a competitive company called Gourd Box. Ooh. I don't know if you make gourd box because first of all, I don't think it's either or between figs and gourds, and that's maybe the difference between our two companies' philosophies. Mm-hmm. But I do mm-hmm. think that a box full of figs would be good to ship to people out of nowhere. But gourd box is good seasonally is, too. Like yeah. you'd have a huge fall, yeah, and then the rest of the year you could kind of coast. Whereas figs. Like you don't mean you autumn. You mean figs. like you you like fell down stairs in a public setting, sued. That's where you get the seed money for gourd box. <laughs> you <laughs> have to seeds. plant all those yeah. seeds. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Um, but I always hear about like specialty gourds. Like obviously they they bred the honey nut squash fairly recently as a easier one to cook that was sweeter than a butternut squash. Um, but you don't really hear about that for figs. There's no like specialty fig thing. So you want us to breed figs? I mean, I feel like you should if you're offering a box of figs. Yeah. You should be. Why can't it just be like them? one type of figs once a month? <laughs> Thirty figs, <laughs> one fig a day. Is it? I think fi- that's a better, a cleaner idea away? than gourd box. Yeah, fig a day keeps I think your happiness at so stay. Good. In I advent would, calendar style. Fig I'm just box. thinking about like yeah, getting fig a box, box isn't of gourds bad. to my house. It's so nice, like an acorn squash, a yeah, but coconut, that's a diff- yeah, a bunch of honey nuts. That's like I'm just saying I, we can't do get figs because get figs is the scrubs. You yeah. are. Did they not get figs.com? They what got about figs. They got big figs. box. <laughs> <laughs> or no, sorry. What about that's what have? I said. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about have figs? Yeah, that's fine. H A L V E S. Halved figs. Um, I might have to 
head Go. out just because I thought right. like this was going to be like a 1230 to 130 thing, yeah. but you came 20 minutes Fair. late. Yeah. Fair. But what about half Fair. figs? Would you invest? Yeah, and I would have stayed having known that <laughs> if like we were still having meaningful discussions, but it does <laughs> seem a little bit like you're just making things up at this point. <laughs> and this show but, should almost come to a natural ending, but since I don't see that happening, I might have to just <laughs> remove but really quickly, my so- Really quickly, gourd box versus have figs. Which one uh, are you buying? Probably <laughs> gourd box. But at the same time, I don't see that being like a sustainable year round product. It would because be sustainable for sure. Like we'd really practice sustainability with carbon off credits. Yeah. 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 Is your Wi Fi fixed? A ghost? You know, it's Just not, and I can't actually speak to a person. I think the reason why <laughs> right, AT&T is so successful <laughs> is because they don't have people. So yeah, they just, you're talking to bots yeah, all day. Exactly. The bots. The bots, the bots are talking bots. to me. So it's like this bot versus that bot versus the other and stuff like that. It was good to see you, though. Yeah. It was so awesome seeing you guys, and I hope that um, your election goes well. And let me know. Just... Let me know how much you want to invest into half figs. <laughs> I feel like you have a lot of walking around cash, and I'm not even asking for that much. I just like, and I'll give you like a big stick. You could have like a quarter stake. A big in... stick. That's actually not bad in terms of Speak a box shop. that delivers <laughs> once a month. Yeah. It's like a big ass <laughs> rod. I don't even need that much, and I'll give you a big stick. Speak <laughs> I'll find a stick in the woods <laughs> <laughs> or a hen of the woods. <laughs> was a HeadGum original.